The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited says it recorded more than 9,000 infractions on the nation's oil pipeline in one year. At an oversight visit to the agency's headquarters, the Ada Committee on Oil Theft raises concerns over the Herculean challenge posed by operating oil and gas pipelines. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. The special committee set up to investigate the challenge of oil theft is at the headquarters of the NNPCL to further gather useful information on the menace. The chief executive of NNPCL, Mele Kiari, describes good oil theft as an end-to-end -end issue in Nigeria. Sir Chairman, in one year alone, you have 9,000 infractions on the pipelines. Sir Chairman, what it technically means is that when you have 5,500 connection on your pipeline, you do not necessarily have a functional pipeline. He says 6,465 illegal refineries were deactivated in the last two years, 4,876 illegal connections removed out of 5,570 discovered. As a matter of fact, we know exactly where all the 6,464 illegal refineries are located. We know their coordinates. We know where they are. What you see here is the location of all the illegal connection, illegal refinery, and they are reflective of the outer of our pipelines. The committee worries over increasing attacks on the nation's lifeline as it tax NNPCL, security agencies, and other key actors to continue to synergize activities for optimal effectiveness in the battle against oil theft. The world body also states that crude oil theft equates to between 5 to 7 percent of the global crude oil and refined fuels produ produced. Our country cannot grow in this type of atmosphere replete with the oil theft, pipeline vandalism, general insecurity in the oil producing communities, regulatory complicity and compromise by some unpatriotic security agencies. It says the visit is to get first-hand information regarding oil theft that will quicken necessary legislative interventions. I want to say without any fear of being quoted that we are in, 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 in trouble. And I also want to observe that if actually the mandate of this committee was to simply get out and get the facts, go back to the floor or go back to our committee rooms and work on these facts and see how we can actually navigate way forward or way out of it. The committee says it is compiling facts and figures relating to infractions of the Petroleum Industry Act including undeclared liftings and ST approvals to vessels involved in crude theft. Jokia Yadza, TVC News, Abuja.